Hi, this is Justin, you're watching wingsound.com. In this video, I'll discuss your Pro Tools 8 I.O. settings. Now with your I.O. settings, if you have a 002, 003 M-Box, you can arrange all your I.O. settings to match your workflow. Now to get to your I.O. settings window, you go to Setup and I.O. Now this window is very helpful because you can name your inputs, outputs, inserts, and buses to whatever you'd like. It greatly increases your workflow and keeps things very organized and comfortable. Now, once you get everything named the way you like it, you can export those settings or you can import some other settings if you have a certain workflow that you use and you can put those on a flash drive and bring them to any setup in the world and you'll be able to work there. You'll be very comfortable because you know exactly what to expect. Okay, so I'm looking at my outputs right now. And I have an Mbox 2, so my output is analog 1 and 2. Now, let's just say I have some Mackie monitors, and they're always in 1, 2. So I can double-click on analog 1, 2, and name them the Mackies. And you can do that for as many outputs as you have. If you have an interface with multiple outputs, you can put as many as you want. And it's great because if you need to reference your mixes to different monitors, you can label them and you'll know which ones you're listening to at any point in time and they'll show up on on your channel strip so see it changed all my output one two to the Mackies now all you have to do is just click on it and you can choose whichever uh, output you your you need to reference in And so let's say if I'm looking at my inputs and I always know that my analog one two input is always an acoustic guitar. So I already labeled it acoustic guitar. And when I look at it on my channel strip on the input, it shows acoustic guitar left and right. Or if it's a stereo track, acoustic guitar. Works really good. Now, what I like to use this for is for my buses because a lot of times I like to make drum subgroups so here I labeled my drum subgroup is bus 1 and 2 and my reverb is 3 and 4 so now when I bring that up on my channel strip my sends right here bus 1 and 2 is the drum subgroup and 3 and 4 is the reverb so if I'm doing my drum subgroup and this channel here I just changed the input to bus drum subgroup and it's done right there or, or very organized and easy to look at now another good thing you can do is you can create a new path so if I'm looking at my outputs and let's say I have another set of monitors <clears throat> I'll make it stereo and I'm gonna use five and six so just uncheck five and six so they don't overlap each other and go to new sub path and then you can put in your left and your right and that'll show up on your outputs as well in your channel strip you can always get in touch with justin at winksound.com and check out more of justin's videos including these titles featuring the new pro tools 8 now available on demand at winksound.com